Hi parents, this is a tutorial for sewing the the ribbons onto your ballet slippers, okay? What you're gonna need is thread, ideally of the same color as your um, ribbons. You're gonna need also a good needle. Make sure that it's one, not one of those thin ones, yeah? I don't know if you can see mine here. It's pretty thick. Um, you're gonna need your elastic or your, sorry, your ribbons. You need four pieces, okay? So make sure that the, that the ribbons that you already purchased, you cut them in four even sections. Let me show you. So you need four different pieces. Okay. So if your daughter has shoes like these, okay, which come with only one strap, okay, what I want for you to do is the following. You're going to fold this, okay, then right at the intersection of it, okay, you can sew it. So that's the intersection, yeah. You can sew it on the inside. On the inside you see on the inside you have to make sure that your ribbon is folded in a rectangle okay so watch I'm gonna fold it okay in a little rectangle then where the crease is you're gonna fold it right there yeah I mark it and then I start sewing it, okay, at an angle. So, right there. Do you all see? Okay, so, with your needle, okay, you want to make sure that you only sew on the inside, not on the outside, okay? So, you start sewing. And make sure that your stitching is pretty tight, okay, so that it doesn't come undone. Okay, I'm already starting to sew there, yes. You want to sew all the way in the rectangle, okay, all the way, all the way. Make sure that on the outside, you see, you can't see anything. It's only on the inside. For those that, of you that speak Spanish, Lo que les acabo de decir es que cuando cosan el, el, el listón, el listón tiene que coserse con la lona de adentro del zapato. No se debe de pasar el hilo a la piel, porque si no se va a notar por fuera. Make sure that you only sew the canvas on the inside. So as you can see, we're already starting to sew on the inside, yeah? Almost, almost there. Now also, once you get to the top part, you see how it's peeled? You wanna make sure that you don't sew on here, okay? Cause that's where the, the elastic goes through. If you sew on it, you're not gonna be able to, to adjust. Lo que digo es que asegúrense de no coser eh, en esta parte de arriba porque por ahí pasa el elástico, así que si quieren alguna vez ajustar el zapato, con el, ya al coserle ahí ya no va a poder tener esa flexibilidad de, de soltarle o agarrarle un poquito más. Así que solamente cósanme hasta justo debajito, justo debajito de esa costura. Asegúrense de no hacerlo con máquina, Porque es muy notorio y la máquina no, no puede coser nada más en una capita. Tiene que coser todo. Entonces se notaría mucho en la, en la piel del zapato. Make sure you don't use um, a sewing machine for this. This has to be all hand sewn. Okay. This has to be all hand sewn. Um, otherwise you're going to see all the stitching on the outside of the shoe. And that's very unflattering. Okay. So we have to make sure that the shoe looks very sleek. Um, and very, very clean, obviously. Okay, so I'm going to tie, I'm going to do the final knot. Okay. Oh.
Okay, parents. So as you can see, I sewed um, one ribbon there. And obviously it's not very, very uh, perfect. If you have, I'm trying to do a very quick tutorial, but you wanna make sure that you sew all the way around in a rectangle, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? The general rule was for you to have to fold the end of the shoe and that's where you're going to sew it and then you're going to sew it on this side as well okay this is for a shoe that has only one a one strap across 